to my channel thank you so much for stopping by today i'll be showing you how to make delicious tilapia stew that you can enjoy over with some rice or even ugali but first so the ingredients that you need a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paprika cumin black pepper salt to taste and be free to use any additional spices or the spices that you prefer in this meal then i have pureed tomatoes you can use whole tomatoes as well green bell peppers onions and coriander i will also be adding some milk which is the perfect ingredient for fish stew so here is my fish i've already washed it and descaled it so i'm just going to cut incisions in it and i'm going to add some salt and garlic powder to it so if you are buying your fish from the fish vendor when it's already deep fried then you can skip this to the next step Now I'm going to shallow fry my fish until it's well done on both sides. Once it's done, set aside. So into your pan or sofuria, you add some oil together with some onions and fry them until they're translucent and also add the garlic and ginger Once done, go ahead to add in your tomatoes. So since I'm using uh, pureed tomatoes, so the cooking process is a little bit fast. But if you're using whole tomatoes, just cover it and let them simmer until they're completely broken down. Next, to add in your green bell peppers and allow them to cook as well. And I'm going to add the spices together with the salt for seasoning so that they all simmer together. I actually decided to add some Royco as well to it, which is completely optional. So once the stew has simmered and the spices have well cooked together with the sauce, go ahead to add in your milk and please if you can do not skip this step. Milk adds such a beautiful flavor to your fish stew and it's the perfect secret ingredient. You can also add coconut cream as well or you can also use coconut milk. Then bring back your fish to your pot or sufuria. Remember you don't have to have your fish whole. You can even cut it into pieces. And then take some stew and cover your fish with it. So just pour some of the stew on top of the fish. Because we are trying to avoid turning the fish so that it doesn't break down or end up mushy in your pot or sufuria. Then cover it and let it simmer on medium-low heat. 
pretty much the fish is done you just want it to marinate in that sauce And you can see how beautiful and thick the stew is. I do not like runny stew. So if you like it a bit more runny, then you can just add a little bit of water to it. Once the fish is done and simmered down to your liking, go ahead to add in your coriander and it's ready to serve. And there is the fish it was absolutely delicious i enjoyed it over with some ugali and some skuma wiki and you can see just how beautiful that stew is as well i really hope you do try this recipe and share it with your friends and family and i will see you on my next one till next time bye bye